floods, earthquakes, tornadoes, wildfires. Everything can change in an instant when emergencies strike. I'm Ness Murby. I'm a Paralympian. I'm blind. I'm a disaster survivor. And I'm your host for this video series that is your guide to prepare and plan for natural emergencies in Canada. This is your AMI Emergency Series. Service animals and pets. Service animals and pets are there for you every step of the way, but they rely on you to care for them. And that includes considering them in your plans and preparations. A grab and go kit for your animals should include shelf stable pet food and water for 48 hours. For water supplies, that's eight liters for an average dog and two liters for an average cat for a 48 hour period. Remember to include pet dishes and a manual can opener if your cans aren't ring pulls. Don't forget a leash, collar or harness with an ID tag attached or a pet carrier with your details written on it to keep your pet safe and easily identified. Comfort items like blankets and toys can help reduce their stress and waste bags or paper towels will ensure they can still relieve themselves without leaving behind a mess. An animal first aid kit and copies of vaccination and medical records are a must and can be included with your first aid kit. Detailed medical conditions, dosage and frequency of medications, and contact info for the prescribing veterinarian are essential in case there is a medical emergency. It's important to keep your animal's ID and registration up to date with your phone number and the name and phone number of your vet. Consider getting your animal microchipped. Easy identification is the best way to reunite you with your animal if you get separated. It's also good to include a recent photo of your service animal or pet in case of separation. Selfies with you can really help. You should add a copy of your current pet license if one is required in your area. Pet shoes are a good option in case of hazardous terrain, and if it's a colder time of year, a blanket and a battery-operated heat lamp will be a good addition for comfort. Use the same rotation and maintenance schedule as your other kits. Check the videos for grab-and-go, first aid, and home kits for more info. Pets may not be welcome at some emergency shelters, so make plans that include a pet-friendly evacuation center or stay with friends or family members. Try to familiarize yourself with some pet-friendly hotels ahead of time. Locate a veterinarian in your designated evacuation zone and keep a copy of their details in your emergency kit. What if you aren't home when emergencies strike? Create a buddy system by asking a neighbor to collect your animals if you're away from home. Share a key in your emergency plan. It's a good idea to post a permanent sticker on your door listing the number and types of animals living in your household. This will alert first responders to look out for them if you have to leave an animal behind. You can ensure your pets have what they need to drink while you're gone by leaving open containers that can't be tipped over. Consider getting a time-release feeder or leave dry food in several places around your house. Most importantly, do not tie your pet up when you leave home. They're more likely to survive if they can escape. After an emergency, familiar landmarks and scents may be gone, so don't let your animal run loose. Be patient as you attempt to re-establish routines as quickly as possible. And if you get separated, register your lost animals with the nearest shelters and connect with your vet and emergency contact. Finally, preparation is also important for your animals. Practice evacuating with them together and know where they're likely to hide in times of stress. The complete AMI series is available to watch at ami.ca, on the AMI-TV app and on the AMI YouTube channel.